Hello and happy May. It is every time I don't check the date. It's May 2nd. I just I forget immediately what day it is the second I open my mouth. It is May 2nd. The year is 2023 if you're watching this in the future. It is a new month which means we've got April to wrap up here. If you're new here I've got some goals that I track every month working towards them as my 2023 focuses. So here we are. This is what we got done in April. So if you've been here before, you know that uh, my student loan money, I am uh, putting in a savings account until all weird things with student loan forgiveness are settled. So I am putting money aside. I'm putting $275 a week into a high yield savings account to put towards my student loans as soon as the courts are all settled with that. But for now, I am not paying down that balance. It is just sitting at this number right here, big ugly number, uh, sitting right there. And she's gonna stay like that until probably the end of, what is it, August? I don't even know when they might go back into repayment at this point. Uh, got a, a good chunk over there. Sitting at just over $13,000 as of today, actually. Uh, so, you know, making a good chunk of progress and crossing my fingers at that uh, $20,000 of student loan forgiveness does in fact go through the courts because that would knock out one of my big grad school loans entirely, which would be fun. So, uh, $168,834.72. That is not my starting balance. I have paid a little bit off pre-COVID, but since we've been on the zero interest, I've just been letting it kind of rock because why, you know? I'm setting it aside. High yield savings. Now that interest rates are up, we're making some money on it. So... <laughs> My annual income, I am tracking my gross annual income progressively. Like, it's a running balance. So I did not make $21,000 in March. That's just how made how much I made as of March. So as of the end of April, as of the, my last paycheck in April, we are at $28,915.42, which is not bad. I got a new job at the end of February that's really been helping make this number go up pretty fast. Um... <laughs> So my net worth right now is let's see if this formatting that I did. Yay. Okay. So uh my net worth is massively negative. Uh you know, this number doesn't help that. Um so but you know what? It it went up by five hundred dollars, which is rad. That's good. We want this. We want these numbers to go down so then they can start going up, you know? Uh, closer to zero, baby. That's what we want. Zero net worth. I want to be absolutely worthless. That would be so fun for me. <laughs> All right. Um, fat fire. If you don't know anything about the fire movement, uh, financial independence, retire early. I am less interested in the retire early part so much as the financially independent part. What this little number here means is if I were to retire today, my investments would pay me out this number of dollars per month. So is $99 enough to live off of every month of my life until I die? No, not even a little bit, not even close. Wouldn't even pay for groceries. But uh, it's not zero and retirement was not a thing that I thought I would be able to achieve in this lifetime. And so that's really nice. So end of April, my fire number, fire number, no, my fire number is very high, but the fire monthly payout Ba 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 is in the triple digits. It is over a hundred dollars, a hundred and four dollars and forty one cents. That pays a bill or two. Like my Wi-Fi is paid for for the rest of my life. Isn't that that is more than my Wi-Fi and then some? Isn't that fun? I like that. <laughs> um, home ownership. Again, not something I'm saving for like aggressively, but it is something I put you know just extras to now and again. I have a little budget on the side, not attached to my regular budget because I'm a real budget nerd, uh, where I just save for like my house stuff and like long-term savings projects that I don't really want counting towards my, you know, day to day. Cause if I see it, it's gone. Can't be trusted. But right now in this moment, I've got 147.50 set aside for a down payment. Again, is that going to get me anywhere? No, I live in New York city. That's, I can't even look at a, look at an apartment for less than 150 bucks. But it's nice to have a little bit growing every single, you know, small steps, baby steps towards your goals, people. Makes me, makes my brain happy. All right, fully funded emergency fund. 
the goal overall is $6,200. Is that, that's what that says? Is that still true? This is not even accurate. Um, I'm changing this right now because I think my total overall goal is to have a fully funded three month emergency fund eventually. And that eventually is a big eventually because while I'm paying off my student loan debt, I have decided, this is new development, I've decided to cap my emergency fund. Why is it a percentage? I've decided to cap my emergency fund at $2,500. Um, what I was doing is I was letting my, I have, you know, this in a high yield savings account and I was letting that money roll and just adding that to my, you know, emergency fund. But um, I've decided to cap it and let that money roll and go towards my student loans because that is my focus right now. $2,500 pays for a full month of like all of my expenses. If I need to be out of work for an entire month, which, uh, if I lost my job, then I could get another job. Um, it probably obviously wouldn't pay as well as the one I have currently, but this $2,500 would not need to cover every single bill for the whole month. Um, I also, um, if I get sick or injured or anything, um, my company covers, has really good like medical benefits and um, short-term disability, long-term disability. So like if something happened to me, then I would be okay, and the $2,500 would not need to go to just like one month's expenses and then I'm SOL, but also, I just wanna get really aggressive with my student loans, so I've decided to focus on that. Here it is, everyone, in the month of April, on ordering food and ordering out, I spent $186.81, Oh, stop cheering, I know. No, it just, I honestly, truthfully, I'm going to be real with you guys, it's because I was traveling so much um, and work, so I still I ate out a lot more than that, but just my job paid for it. But you know what? I'm counting it. I'm counting the win. So our total so far for the year, which is what this little column is tracking, total so far for the year is 886.32. And quick math, let's do... 886.32 divided by 2,500 means that we are at, y'all, Excel in numbers just drives me absolutely crazy sometimes. It really does. It means we are 35.45% of the way through our total year eating out budget. Uh, again, if you're new here, $2,500 is pretty much half of what I spent last year, which I'm, I spent over $5,000 eating out last year, and that was wacky to me. So I decided I was going to cut it in half this year, and I'm really trying to stick to it. Um, so 35% of the way, a little over a quarter of the way, about a third of the way through the year, that feels, you know, we're a little, a little over. But I think we can do it, y'all. It's not feeling impossible, which to me, it was like cutting in half our total spending for eating out felt, I, I was like, that's a, that's going to be a stretch. We'll see. And it's been honestly way easier than I anticipated. I will say, I think working from home has been a big help in this. Oh, actually, you know what? I also just realized 20 of these dollars was for something that happened yesterday. Um, <laughs> so it's actually 866.32. Uh, stick with me here, you know? I'm just doing my best. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 866.32. That's, you know, I'm gonna, I'll leave the 35%. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I thought it was gonna be really difficult, but I think working from home and, and really just, I mean, also I've been valuing my health a little bit more. Um, going to the gym. I've gone to the gym twice. Don't, don't let me uh, try to flex. Um, <laughs> so yeah, feeling good. Feeling great about the goals. I'm feeling like I'm in a good spot. I'm building out this cute little template thing I've got here and then I'm working on a uh, you may see this little tableau public uh, thing up here I'm also going to try to do some some cute visualizations make it all pretty some graphs you know stuff like that so let's uh keep it pushing on these goals I'm really excited about it here we can take a look at that actually if you're not if you don't know tableau you gotta get with it I just I don't listen to me I just started learning it for work um, when I started at the end of February, and I'm already not very good at it. So you're, you'll see. Anyone who uses Tableau and is like good at it is gonna look at what I've got right now and laugh. 
I can't, I will say I, I'm better at making things than this, but I did this literally just today. So this is obviously terrible, but it's going to be a little line graph to show how my financial independence savings is boop, 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 going up. And then I've got my gross income. I wanted to make this a, a little chart, but the charts are kind of hard. Building stuff from the ground up is difficult. In work, I mostly just like work on stuff that other people have already made and do maintenance and editing to those things. And then I feel like a superhero. And then I try to do something by myself. And it looks so ugly. <laughs> Obviously, also, I've only tracked the first four months of this year of data. So that's, I mean, that's fair. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> okay, I've rambled enough. Those are the goals. Oh, and my savings rate right now for the whole year is at 27.1%. So yeah, that's where we're at for the month of April. Thank you so much. Appreciate you greatly. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you on Friday.